A uh, few of them just kind of fell in my hands, but most of the part, um, I just put myself in the right position to get the rebound, you know. I, I was just staying aggressive on the defensive end and just was attacking the glass. All right, and for most of the game, the team percentage, I was looking up at the scoreboard, was around 58% from the field. Why don't you both mm -hmm. say a word about that? I think it did drop a little bit at the end, but uh, had some pretty good shooting going on there. Uh, yeah, um, again, um, <clears throat> URC is a great pressure team. Um, they're one of the best teams in the country of taking the three-point line away, so um, it kind of forced us to play um, within the three-point line to um, get tools. But um, obviously, um, that's what we want to do first anyway, is, is get um, paint touches and um, layups. So um, it really kind of played in our hands tonight, and um, it kind of showed with our percentage. Yeah, honestly, we haven't really shot the three that well over the last, so the, since the break, we sh maybe have shot it well once in a game, but um, See, that's but the twos were going better than the threes. Yeah, today. so it was uh, just us getting good shots, you know, trusting each other and having the ball pop. All right, and now I got this uh, microphone here, so uh, <laughs> probably can't hear me any better than before. Hey, I was a student when Larry Bird went here. I'm that old. I was a sophomore when he was a senior, <laughs> and I went to the games as a student and sat in the student section and yelled at the other team's coach and the refs and everything. So this means a lot to me. I've been told that this is the first 6-0 Missouri Valley start since that team. Mm -hmm. Now, you guys are too young to I think Larry <laughs> retired from the NBA in 1992, <laughs> but, but, I'm, but I know, I'm sure you've heard of him and uh, you know what a great player he was. What does it mean to both of you? Of course, you know, the season's not anywhere near over. You still got a lot to do, but uh, you know, what does it mean to be even somewhat compared to a, a start like that for a team like that? Oh man, it's definitely um, humbling and a blessing to be compared to greatness, such greatness like that Larry Bird. And, um, the start we have is, is definitely been humbling for us. Um, like you said, it's a lot of basketball to play, but um, I feel like we put ourselves in a great position coming here forward for the Valley. That's what I was thinking, but you put yourself in position. <laughs> Go ahead, Julian. Uh, it's, it's really, like Boss said, just a blessing and honor to be mentioned in the same you know, light as Larry Bird's team, but honestly, it's just next game mentality. So whatever we have to do to beat Southern Wednesday is what we're focused on after we chop this film up and watch it, so. No doubt. Yeah, this was going to be my last question before coach comes in. Just, you, yeah, you put yourself in position, but what do you got to remember going forward, both of you again? Uh, just remember, man, um, now that uh, we're, we're being the ones being hunted now, you know, mm -hmm. um, being a top seed in the Valley and being in this position, um, it can always go away so fast, too. Um, coach always say that it's mm -hmm. fragile. So um, that's something that we always take in moment um, and we approach each practice in each game the same way. Got a little bit of a bullseye on your <laughs> oh, yeah, no doubt, no doubt for sure. <laughs> he took the words right out of my mouth. Yeah, I'm about to say, yeah, just knowing that this is fragile because we can easily be that team that lost three in a row. Mm -hmm. You know, we can easily not be six and zero. Oh, so you know, just knowing that it's fragile and we can be the team on the other side. It helps that three-game losing streak with we're all not. So. No doubt. Julian, I had a quick question for you. Uh, since you kind of got inserted into the starting lineup, I feel like you've been playing like really well. The team plays with a lot of passion and energy. What do you enjoy most about playing uh, with the team right now? I just enjoy cheering my teammates on, really, you know, bringing the energy. That's really what I try and do every game, to start at least, just to bring that energy, make sure my guys are ready to go, and, you know, then I'll follow behind them. Kravasi, I think like watching you play, like you just seem to like really like when you get a couple threes and you really like feed off the energy of the fans. What do you kind of enjoy about this team? Uh, I enjoy the passion and um, to the, the cohesiveness we got together. Um, I feel like it's really all, all there together. And I feel like there's really a great group of guys, you know. And back with Julian, man, I really feel like he changed his team, uh, his playmaking ability. Um, it's really tremendous. And I feel like, man, it's, it's, it's showing, showing a lot.